All right, back to this thing after a few days of waiting on bolts. These are 90 millimeter um, M8 by 1.25s, and they are not long enough. All the forums and whatnot say 85 millimeter, 90 millimeters are, but once you get your um, doodad in place, there's not enough standoff between the bottom of the head to thread into the hole. So these are 100 millimeters and they are enough. And that should be plenty of jack shaft room to pull this fucker off the nose of the crankshaft. So I can pull the timing cover and see why it is locked up. But you need 95 or 100 millimeter M8s by 1.25 bolts. Um, just keep that in mind. But once you get it assembled and on there, just go ahead and hit that with your impact or your ratchet or whatever you're using and jack that fucker right off of there. set up with my impact here let's see what happens oh get on there all right nope pop that bolt out all right, so if you're dumb like me and just keep fucking pounding on it to get your threads to go into the damn threaded holes and you break your stupid bolt off in it, you're going to have to go get your kit of bearing race pullers out. And I used the middle size one, just jacked the nut out and it fit in there. I got it locked in. I'm going to hook the slide hammer to it and see if I can yank it out with that because uh, I screwed myself and I don't want to sit here with a drill and try and drill that bolt out, clean the threads out, wash them out, and then have to freaking over drill them and then helicoil them. But I've got my helicoils there just in case, so but here we go. We'll see if this will pull it out. Slide hammer engage. All right, got our slide hammer attached. We got the middle sized bearing race puller in. And let's give it a few whacks, see what happens. Just like that. It's all that easy if you can use your clover puller though. And there we go. Timing cover is now free. All right, now let's see what kind of nightmares we have going on behind the timing cover. All right, we've got little score there from where the tensioner guide broke on the uh, passenger side no other real damage inside the cover mm hmm the plot thickens all right we've got a good looking crank gear the main crank gear and we've got a good looking secondary for the counter shaft, which is that guy there. And that's the tensioner for the counter shaft. We had to replace that guy on the uh, replacement motor already. Let's see what we do have going on though is see that little piece of metal sticking down right there? That is part of the tensioner guide that did get broke off and it's broke off I don't know about here inside the head and we've got uh, tensioner and guide is just obliterated on this side and kind of bent we've got a little piece of the guide right down here all right so what is locking it up now this that looks like it was recently replaced or messed with. But just that. 
why wouldn't they have done everything else? Huh. Huh. Interesting. I'm hoping our lockup is caused by this guy right here, just not letting anything else move. Oh, 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 what's that right there? Oh, let me turn this. Hey, I got I got the flashlight thingy on. Look at that right there. Piece of the, the tensioner is lodged in between the block and uh, this gear. That would definitely cause things to not want to move. And down, right under in there, you can't really see it. But that thing is literally wedged up in between the gear and the chain, which is locked it up and keeping binding it, keeping it from moving. Wouldn't that be cool if that is it? That's the only reason this thing is locked up. Oh, that would be cool. Alright, well let's continue disassembly.